Good morning. So I remembered Lucas and Julie, the Henry books. So he's that crazy duck that does all the silly things. So I thought I would read Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. There's a little ant there. The day Henry the duck asked his friend Clara over for supper, he found an ant in the kitchen. Henry was worried that Clara would see the ant. She might think his house was not clean. That ant had to go. Henry reached for a can of ant spray, but he didn't want to spray near the food. He was cooking. So, he chased the ant with a frying pan. Henry ran around the kitchen chasing after that ant, but the ant got away and hid behind the stove. Do you see him right there? Henry took the food he was cooking off the stove. Then he shut off the flame and pulled the stove away from the wall and saw the ant. The ant saw Henry and ran into a small crack in the wall. Henry went and got a hammer. Henry pounded a big hole in the wall where the crack was, but he couldn't find the ant. So he kept on pounding. The hole got bigger and bigger. At last, Henry saw the ant sitting on a pipe inside the wall. I don't know if you can see the ant, it's right up there. Henry aimed the hammer at the ant and missed. The blow of the hammer broke the pipe and water came shooting out of the pipe. Henry couldn't stop it. He grabbed a towel and tied it around the pipe and the water stopped shooting out. But Henry hadn't stopped the water soon enough. It had sprayed all over the kitchen Everything was soaking wet, except for Clara's su supper, thank goodness. Henry began mopping up the puddles of water, and all at once, he slipped and banged against the kitchen table, and everything came crashing down. Henry was covered with pots and pans and food. The supper was ruined. There was nothing Henry could do now but to call Clara and tell her not to come. While Henry was on the phone, the towel came loose from the pipe and the water came shooting out and flooded the whole house. Henry was carried right out the front door by the flood. There was no going back. Poor Henry's house was washed away by the flood. He saved what he could and moved into a new house. Look what's following him down there. When Henry was settled in his new house, he again asked Clara over for supper. Just as he went to the door to let Clara in, he saw an ant. And he looked the other way. The end. That is a silly book, isn't it? About Henry. And then we also have um, Henry's important date and Henry goes west. So Mimi will read those two books next, okay? Love you guys. Bye-bye.